Would y'all believe that a peanut butter sandwich almost killed me inside of prison? Would y'all believe that shit? They don't call these choke sandwiches for nothing, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha, dawn the best. Finna be this way till I EOS. Take it how you want, nigga. Yeah, I'm a pro. Fuck around, I bust your lot while you're at Vizzo. I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment. Waking up every day, show me an opponent. Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks. So much pool, I can even start you from the box. You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent. Got lax on deck, your money was well spent. Vultures on the prowl, so don't try testing. Step two, cause violent first steps, finessing. You a hold down man, suitcase this. My cell phone and my charger don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you, you gon' leave airlifted. What's up, y'all? You already know, man. K for all TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about how I almost lost my life inside a prison when I was locked up down here in the state of Florida. First thing I want to say before I even get into this video is to let y'all know no inmate tried to kill me. And no guard tried to kill me. You know, like physically hands-on situation is what I mean because for this one here it's gonna be a whole lot different than what y'all are expecting to hear but old frog seen the light you feel me now I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and let y'all know the timing it was when I was in prison and at this time we had a hurricane coming and I was in confinement at the institution at the time and I'll never forget we had a massive storm so when the massive storm was coming you know, we had no lights for like three to four days in the box, okay? And I've spoke on this before, you know what I'm saying? I was at Charlotte CI at the time, in confinement for K-Frog TV, doing a 270-day stretch, all right? And for like three, four days, we didn't have no lights, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I had my MP in there at the time, so I was able to listen, you know, even with the storm going on, I was able to put on the FM AM rate, you know, listen to their shit the broadcast and what they're talking about. They're talking about the storm, that the, it's going to be floods up to t fucking 12 to 15 feet tall. And I'm like, damn, well, people on the bottom tier cell ain't even that damn tall, so they're going to drown, you know. And what they did at this time is they, they didn't really feed us well, okay. They gave us peanut butter sandwiches and carrot coins. For those that don't know what carrot coins are, it's just raw carrots cut up in chunks. So they look like a circle, so it's like... A coin. You feel me? And I don't know how they consider that a dessert, but that's what they gave us. All right. And I was in the box at the time. The bunkie I had, me and him had, you know, we weren't really beefing. You know, we were cool. We were homeboys and everything, you know, but we both had pride. So, like, you know, like, if, if, if I felt some type of way and said something to him, he'd say some type of way, he'd say something to me. You know, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Well, at this time, we actually had, like, a bet going on that neither one of us could go without talking. I used to be like, bro, all you want to do is talk, bro. I don't feel like talking today. I don't want to talk. All you want to do is talk. And they'd be like, what you mean, bro? You don't want to say something to me. You feel me? And the next thing you know, man, I bet you a week worth of fucking lunch that your ass can't go three days without talking. I bet you a week worth of lunch that you can't go three days without talking. You know, because sometimes you want some peace and quiet yourself and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So... We had like this bet going on where we weren't even speaking at the moment. I want to prove to him that I I, ain't, I don't talk that much. He wants to prove to me that he don't talk that much, you know, vice versa. So at this time, I'm in the cell. We're chilling and everything. You know, he's doing whatever he's doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm on the top bunk, and, you know, they come around. They give us our lunch, you know. They give us peanut butter sandwiches and carrot coins, like I said. Well, while I'm up there, you know, looking at the magazine I had, and I'm eating, you know, fucking nibbling on these carrots like a rabbit and you know I decide okay I'm gonna start eating my peanut butter sandwich for those that don't know these peanut butter sandwiches that they give you are not your average peanut butter sandwich the nickname of these peanut butter sandwiches are called choke sandwiches they call these choke sandwiches okay and I actually have another story for y'all about an inmate that wasn't as lucky as me you know later on I'll drop it later on on the channel when it comes to you know choking in prison now i'm sitting there eating this fucking sandwich next thing you know boy that bit went down and got stuck and you know normally you'd be like okay you know like it's happened before not with just that but you know people have got shit wedged in their throat before first thing i did you know is 
jump off the bunk, go over there and start drinking some water out the sink. Because, you know, when that peanut butter hit the top of your mouth and that bitch just puts up a wall to where you can't swallow, you know, normally water or something, you know, some type of liquid would get that shit to go down. So, at first, before I even jumped down to hit the water, I was up there trying to get it to go down on its own because I didn't think it was that serious. Next thing you know, I jump off the bunk. I'm in there, I'm trying to push shit in my mouth from in the sink, straight out of the sink. Boy, I'm trying, boy, oh shit, you know? And it would not budge. Like, I could not breathe. I dead ass was choking from this sandwich. And I ain't still ain't want to say shit to my bunkie or ask him for help or nothing like that because I thought he would laugh at me. You know what I'm saying? And then I broke the fucking bet we had going on. So I dead ass was like seeing the light, y'all. Like I dead ass could not help the fact that I could not get this peanut butter piece of this sandwich down. And here I'm in the box. So much shit's going through my mind. And I wasn't like 100% in panic mode. But boy, I was in panic mode. Because I'm like, I'm finna die in the box. They got a storm coming. Them officers ain't coming back here. They don't even want to feed us. So they're not coming back here to check up on us regularly. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, the only person that I have is my bunkie. And all he can do is what I'm trying to do for myself right now. So it really ain't, he, he ain't finna help. There ain't nothing he can do. You know what I'm saying? All he's going to do is try to put water in my mouth, the same shit that I'm trying to do. And then he's going to laugh at me and all this shit. And my pride was big, you know, that I was like, man, fuck it, bro. Frog finna croak in here. You know what I'm saying? And... It's crazy because what went through my mind the whole time is like a fucking peanut butter sandwich finna get me, dog. Out of everything I've been through in my life, all the drama and situations and life-threatening occasions and different shit, I'm like, a peanut butter sandwich, bro, is finna take old frog out. I'm like, man, my peoples ain't even finna know the truth of what happened. You think them guards are going to tell them that I died from choking on a peanut butter fucking sandwich? No, they ain't. They going to have me listed online as natural causes. That's what they're going to do. They're going to put me on there with natural causes. You know, and I'm like, man, how the hell am I going through this right now? You know, because when you get them sandwiches in prison, if it's peanut butter and jelly day, you know, in the county jail down here, they give you peanut butter and jelly twice a week for lunch. The other five days you get bologna. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, you kind of like look forward to peanut butter and jelly in the county down here because, like I said, you get bologna five days out the week. You feel me? So when them shits come around twice a week, you know, you want that. Unless you go to court. If you go to court on a different date throughout the week than the two days that it's peanut butter and jelly, you'll get it for the third time of the week because they give peanut butter trays normally when it's court days. For people who go to court, I mean. You feel me? So when you go to prison... You don't really get peanut butter and jelly like that. They give it to you like once a month, you know. And the peanut butter and jelly they give you when you're on the compound is totally different than a peanut butter sandwich. See, normally the peanut butter sandwiches are meant for people who are on strict diets. You know, different diets and they need like a snack or they need something to keep their, their sugar up or whatever the hell it may be. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't keep weight. So they give them a, a peanut butter sandwich on the side of their tray normally. You know, people who are on different diets rather than just a regular tray inside of prison. You feel me? So when they were giving us these peanut butter sandwiches, it wasn't like they were giving us a regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich that they would give us on peanut butter and jelly day. They were giving us the same shit that was considered a snack. You know, and they did it for three days straight. They gave us two peanut butter sandwiches and carrot coins. They came in there, bang, 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 breakfast, lunch, and dinner, bang, bang. That's six sandwiches a day. That's what they gave us for three days straight while I was in the box when the hurricane hit. You know, and after the first day, I ain't want no more of them. You know, so like I had them shit sitting on the side, you feel me? And y'all know how it is when you have peanut butter sitting for a while, like in a sandwich. That shit starts seeping through the bread, looks all shiny and wet. Shit like that. It's normally good if it's peanut butter and jelly, boy. Don't lie. Now, when that jelly seep through that bread, that shit be gas. You feel me? You'd be like, okay, it's the perfect time to eat this motherfucker now. You know? But there was no jelly on this sandwich. You see what I'm saying? And when they give you the peanut butter jelly on the pound, that shit's already mixed together. And they just throw a big old glob on top of your bread. You feel me? So, as I'm choking to try to throw this water down and shit like that, 
my bunkie, I'm look, I look at him because, you know, it passed, it crossed my mind a couple times. Like, should I say something to this motherfucker or try to fucking let him know, bitch, I'm choking? He might think I'm joking because I'm one of them people that will try to make your time go by. No matter what they throw at me in life, no matter where I land, no matter where I'm at, frog going to keep this smile. You get what I'm saying? Because it'll always get better. You feel me? If, if, if you're at the bottom of the barrel and you're worse than life right now, something eventually will be better than that. So at the end of the day, to me, nothing ever feels like the worst. You know, and I don't really catch on. I don't peep it. I don't, I don't notice that this is the worst as it can get. You feel me? And I just know I managed to make it through situations. So he might think I'm laughing and joking or I'm just trying to talk or whatever. But my face, like, started getting pale. Like, I was dead ass choking. You know what I'm saying? And he rolled over, faced the fucking wall. He about to wake up. And Frog finna be fucking laying here stiff. You know what I'm saying? He gonna think I'm joking. You feel me? He gonna take a nap or something and wake up and ain't no life left in me. You feel me? But there was nothing he could do, you know? And I, I, I was in a life or death situation and there was someone right there within three feet of me and I ain't even asking for help. You know what I'm saying? And I'll tell you what, man, that shit was not budging. It was not budging. I was trying all I can, and I stuck my fingers in my throat. Man, I was trying, like, that bit was stuck. Well, I was like, man, that, that shit done went down my throat and curled or something, bro, and just wedged, made its own wall. You feel me? And I was just trying so hard to swallow it and everything like that. And I swear, boy, I managed to get, like, just a little slight air every, like, few fucking like 20 hard trying to swallows like i'd be like trying to get and then after like 20 of them when i feel like i'm finna hit the deck because everything looked all tingly and shit and i was getting lightheaded and all you feel me so i was like i'm finna die you know but every like 20 tries i get like a like it would budge next thing you know bro i finally got that bitch to go down once it went down i looked up at the sky like the ceiling and i was like Phew. Boy, they tested me today, boy. I was like, boy, they really tested me. And it hurt when I swallowed it so bad that for like a week, my fucking throat was so sore. Like it felt like I had a massive strep throat. You feel me? You think about it. Y'all know how hard it is to swallow peanut butter? You feel me? Fuck around and get you a spoonful and put that bitch in your mouth if you want to. That shit fucking goes ahead and... You know, locks up everywhere where it lands, boy, your ass in trouble. You know, and that water was not helping. I think it was because of the bread, too. You know, the bread was what was stopping it from going down. You know what I'm saying? Because normally, if you got a lot of peanut butter in your mouth, you add any type of liquid in there, that shit will clean on up. But that shit wasn't happening with me, you feel me? And at this time, you know, afterwards, I was like, man, I feel like the inmates and the guards tried to kill me, though. Because, like I said in the beginning, no inmate tried to kill me, you know, physically, like run up and hit me up or nothing like that. And no officers tried to kill me physically by beating me to death or anything like that, you know. But at the same time, an inmate made this sandwich, you know. I worked in the chow hall before. I know. I know who makes what. The inmates are the ones that make the food. So an inmate made this sandwich and the guards gave it to me. So if you look at it, both of their ass, boy. Both of them, both of them tried to kill me, even though they didn't intentionally mean to, but they both would have participated in a free body that them officers would have just put online and said that it was natural causes. You know what I'm saying? And every single time I seen a peanut butter sandwich after that, it always reminded me. One almost took me out of the game. Frog almost died from a peanut butter sandwich, y'all. Can you believe that? Think about it. Like, that is like an unexpected way to go. You feel me? Like, you're not expecting it. You start thinking when it's happening of everything that you're, you're losing, you're leaving behind. Everything like, bro, there's no way in hell I made it through knife situations, gun situations on the streets, been shot right here where I got no aim tatted at. All this stuff got staples put in my back from being stabbed on the streets before I even went to prison. I got a scar on my spine like this big. You know what I'm saying? Got a stab wound right here where my watch is at. You feel me? Been cut like, oh, I've been through worse, way worse than a peanut butter sandwich. That shit was silent but deadly. You feel me? And I'm like, 
There's no way possible, bro. And, and it all made sense why they called a choke sandwich. You know, everybody laughs at Kiki's. It's like, yeah, because you'll choke if you ain't got a drink with it. Man, I was choking regardless. That water wasn't helping me. There was nothing that was helping me. And I'm talking about, man, luckily I was able to get wind every fucking few, like, seconds. Because if not, man, Fraud would have been right there and fucking been assed out. You know what I'm saying? And they would have just put me in a box and dumped me. All over a sandwich, y'all. You feel me? That's why you got to understand that your life is limited. You never know when it could be over with. That shit could be over with like this. You got to prepare for these certain things. I wasn't able to prepare for this shit. I wasn't expecting to be taken out the game by a sandwich. Nobody is. You know, at the end of the day, you can't help but to try to make it through your bid and do what you got to do. And before you know it, pap. Think about it. Fucking Jiffy almost took me out. Or Jiff, whatever it's called, almost got a free body. You see? And it's got bodies before. I just would have been another one. Another statistic added to the body count from peanut butter. Fucking choke sandwich. You see? And I couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. That's how I knew, like, okay, yeah, I'm on beat. I'm ahead of myself. I pay attention to everything that goes on, and I'm aware, but I need to be extra aware, okay? I need to take smaller bites of these sandwiches from now on. I need to nibble on that motherfucker and drink a cup of water, nibble on it again, drink a cup. Like, them shits was deadly, bro, and I couldn't believe it, you know? To me, Everything that I went through inside of prison, I could not believe it that they were literally finna body me that easily. My kids wouldn't have known what really happened to me. My family members, my homeboys, nobody on the streets would have known what really happened. All they would know is Frog got, you know, killed in prison. They would have been running around, yeah, that boy got killed in prison, you know, not even knowing the real story. Not even knowing what really got me, what took me out. They wouldn't even have known. And here I am, passing out and shit, about to hit the deck, all tingly and shit. Looked like I was in a, like I was... On drugs, bro. I couldn't even stand straight. That's how tingly it was. You feel me? Like, that shit was crazy to me, y'all. For real. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't gotta be violence for you to get killed in prison. At all. You know, and they'll lie about it and do whatever they have to do, man. You feel me? Shit's crazy, y'all. But alright, y'all, I know this video ain't that long, you know, but you know how much can you really, you know, put out there when it comes to about to die by choking on a peanut butter sandwich. Y'all go ahead, man, and do me that solid, man, and make sure you drop in the comment section. Let me know if you've ever experienced anything like this. If you've ever been in a situation where you was choking and you felt like it was over with and want no one there to help you and you knew whoever was there couldn't save you or any of that, man, you make sure you drop it in the comment section. And like I said, when it comes to prison, it ain't got to always be a violent act for you to die. Okay, for you to have your life over with doesn't have to always partake in some type of physical violence. I ain't gonna lie. That peanut butter sandwich, that shit whooped my ass. That shit had me so sore, sore than anybody I've ever lost a fight to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just being real with y'all. But anyways, man, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Like I always say, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button on the way out if you ain't hit it on the way in. You know, we slowly, surely getting there. I appreciate all the support and everybody that's been watching us from the beginning. Y'all already know to make sure you keep them rat squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, clout chasers, people with fucking fake dreads and fake gold teeth, ride around, rent rims, finance rims, and be lying to people acting like they own shit. Keep them out your circle, man. You feel me? At the end of the day, you're the only person you got. You're going to keep on growing and keep on building and prospering while these other shit eaters in the background hate, hate their life. They miserable. They don't know how to grind. They don't know how to stack. They don't know how to do none of that. So at the end of the day, you are your team and you remember that. Till next time, it's the one and only Frog.